happy birthday to everybody guys, it is I, Vigorous the Gaming coming back at just another video today. In today's video, we are going Where to be telling he? a story time, and I'm going to name this kid Dylan, and um, we're going to be gone? doing a story time of just a funny thing that would happen to him, but it could be serious and funny at the same time, but I asked him if I could do this video, and he replied, of course, I'll show you the proof right now. So there's a proof that, you know, he officially allowed me to make this video. And I mean he does know about my YouTube channel. So um that's why I said okay. Um I can make a story something about this No, I will not use your name, I will not reveal any personal information. But when I was thinking about this, it isn't this kind of personal information. But this is gonna be kept with the name Dylan. And Dylan is not Dylan. <laughs> You know what I mean? If you know what I mean, just like this video. <laughs> okay, anyways, so where this video starts off is so we were in middle school and this happened in seventh grade. I'm not in seventh grade anymore. Yeah. Last day of school for me was today. I um by today, I mean May thirty first, twenty eighteen. And yeah, I mean, if you have school coming on, like, you still have, like, about a week left, you know, you can get there. You can't get to the end of school, like, that's stupid. That's so stupid. It's not like a college kid watches my videos, that's just, that'd be kind of sad. No. <laughs> <coughs> Anyways, moving on. So, how middle school has periods. So there is this one period... And this what this one period is second period. And the second period has about like three of my friends. And I'm gonna include this one other guy as my friend just because he was involved in the story a lot. And so I'm just gonna name all of us. So we have me, Vigorously Gaming. I'm just gonna refer to me as me, obviously. Then Cartoony. Then we're gonna have Dylan, the like pretty much the protagonist of this character. And then we have Jetsert, the, the antagonist of this story. Of this character? What did it mean character? Anyways, yeah, screw that. I don't care. And a uh, super eagle would just, you know, kind of like a mini antagonist. Because he also did some work too. But, anyways, yeah, let's get on to the video. It's going to be a funny one. And so, here, here's just another day. We're just chilling out, talking to each other in second period. I don't know what the teacher was doing, but he was just doing something. And um, all of a sudden, out of the blue, Dylan says, All right, guys, I'm going to go use the bathroom. Uh, watch over my phone for me. I think that's what he said. I'm not sure. And so, he leaves his phone on the table and walks off out of the classroom. So then, we all make eye contact with each other. I'm not sure that it's just like um, completely clear. I mean, it doesn't even matter because it's all gets down to the point anyway. So we all make contact with each other, eye contact. And then Jetsert says, or no, I, I'm not sure if he said anything or he just straight up grabbed the phone. But yeah, Jetsert, let's just say he just straight up grabbed the phone and um, and then he was doing the password and, and it got incorrect. Oh, I think I remember him typing the password before he types in the password bam the password the password was correct and yeah so he, now he was on Dylan's phone so then Jetsert goes ahead hits Google Chrome and then okay Google Chrome loads up then on the top right corner is three dots in a row in a straight line by a straight line I mean up and down straight line ish and you click on that and then there was a toolbar of I'm not sure toolbar but the option of history and yeah jet sure clicks, clicks it so then it loads up his history for about like two seconds then it displays his history he didn't I'm not sure if he looked up anything that particular day because his first period is athletics with me oh wait a second I'm sorry, he just, he just record, no, he just sent me a message, just saying, 
what screenshot? Because I sent him a screenshot. The one I showed you at the beginning of the video. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. I mean, I just said that here, this is proof that I blocked out, per you know, your personal information. Because his uh, name tag. Holy crap, wait a second. Okay, never mind, just never mind. Let's continue on with the story, guys. Yeah, so like I said, we're both in athletics, and this is second period. So he wouldn't have to look up anything. Like, except for this period, and we didn't even really have to look up anything for a second period. So, you know, it explains why he didn't have anything searched for today. So then, comes, like, yesterday. Not really anything at all. Then, the second day. Now, I'm not sure what day this was. I mean, it's not even really important. But, let's just say it's a Friday. Okay, so we look on... Wednesday's history. No, actually, now I remember it was on Monday. So, we look at Saturday's history. We see Pornhub, Pornhub. We see Pornhub, 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 Pornhub. And, uh, we were laughing so hard, guys. I mean, you can't you just imagine going onto a friend's phone, then seen Pornhub on his freaking thing. Yeah, that's kind of funny. And I was actually going to include a little backstory for this, but now that I think about it, this kind of contains personal information, not really. It's it's pretty much kind of like a mini story time. You know, I'll go ahead and say it. No, I won't actually. But, so yeah, we just see Pornhub. And uh, the only thing I remember besides Pornhub is I think like these words, and it was like, uh, Joker plunges Batgirl that made me even laugh even harder. Is really Joker plunges Batgirl like that's the funniest thing. Okay, it's not. I'm actually third funnier, but you know, God dang. When you okay, guys, yeah, just picture it for a moment. Moving on. Okay, so we're all while we're all laughing at this, Dylan comes in the room and says, "What the flip?" God, I do a horrible imitation of him. What the flip? <laughs> Kill me. So yeah, he says, "What the flip?" And um, takes the phone away from Jet Cert. And uh, yeah, we were all laughing. Everybody, me, Jet Cert, Super Eagle, Cartoony. Well, you know, he just was mad at us for going through his phone. And yeah, like I said before, no, I didn't say this before, but Jet Cert. We well, actually, yeah, Jet Cert was the one that did all of this. None of us had a. None of us did it. Just none of us did it. Just except Jets are... Yeah, we don't, let's not take the blame here. <laughs> so now this happens again. And I don't know why, but he trusts us again. Don't trust us. Man, that's like... Yeah, that's like saying, don't trust me, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and leak your personal stuff. Okay, but yeah. Um, I'm just gonna say this. I guess this is a little something to talk about or think about, I guess. So, Dylan ends up texting me, saying that he's going to watch this video just in case I say anything personal because he doesn't trust me. Yet, he trusts me enough to release the top, to release this topic. Yeah, I kind of didn't get that, but, you know, it's alright. And, you know, and then he still trusts me even though... I quote unquote, he thinks I was the one with on his phone, but yeah, so anyways, yeah, it happens again, but the thing is, I think we were trying to get to his history, no, no, Jet Cert was, but, Gillian cast him in time, and you know, took away the phone, and then he said, dude, I'm not trusting you guys ever again, mm-hmm, that happened, so then, I don't know, but just maybe a few days later, most likely a few days later. Hmm. We're working on a project on the laptop. So, there was only one group of three, and we had, like, maybe about 11 students, 11 to 12 students in second period. And most of them, except for the friends that I enlisted, are just freaking people on, like, Snapchat, 
Like, legitimately, they'll be on their freaking phones while mid-lecture, and, you know, they'll be having the camera up. They're taking a Snapchat selfie or something like that. I'm in the background of this girl, and I'm just trying to cover myself up with a backpack. Uh-huh. So, there's my sad life right there. I have to cover myself up because I know I'm too ugly to even be, be in a photo. Like, you know, her photo will probably get dislikes. But, what about my voice? Oh, I'm just kidding. But, yeah, so this happens again. And, so, there was one group of three. And that group of three was Jet Cert, Super Eagle, and me. And then there's another group of two, which was Dylan and Cartoony. So, them two, they got a laptop, which, uh... The laptop was nearly dead, so they had to charge it, and to the left, to the left of the room, with an outlet there. Yeah, so they were just leaning back on the wall, while sitting down, and just doing their original classwork. I don't know why I said original. So then, we noticed, or I'm not sure if I noticed, but one of us noticed, and pointed out that Dylan left his phone again on the table. But this time, he didn't go to the restroom. He was actually kind of just to the right of us. Because, um, we were... We were in, like... Okay, just imagine a square. We were in the bottom right... Corner of the room. Not, like, legitimately, because the bottom right is actually where the door is. But, you know, imagine a little bit up. Imagine a little bit left. That's our desk. So, we're working... We're working where our left is toward the door, and ahead of us is Cartoony and Dylan. Yeah, sorry, I, whatever, but yeah, they're they're just ahead of us. So, but they're paying attention to their projects. Why would they look up? Right? Okay, so, I don't know, someone had the bright idea to actually get on his phone and do the search history thing again. So that's what Jetsert did. I'm not sure. I think um, Jetsert actually said, Hey, do you dare me to go on his phone history again? He asked the Super Eagle. And Super Eagle replies, Yes. So. Okay, I don't know why I paused here. So. I crap in my underwear. I'm just kidding. So. They go ahead. Grab the phone. And try to knock in the pattern. But. He changed it. And then. I replied, Jet, then, oh, wait a second, now I'm speaking, really? There, I just muted my actual gameplay comment. I actually muted my voice in this, in the Black Ops 3 gameplay I was recording. Yeah, this is just supposed to be commentary on this. So, anyways, um, Jet Cert tries unlocking it. Dylan changes the password. And then, I hear him say, um, I think I remember him... I think I remember him typing in the password because he's Dylan has typed in the password in front of me so many times, but my brother is way more cautious than Dylan. Like he just doesn't even care. He just like types in the password. Me, I don't. I mean, I whenever I have my tablet to school and I type in my password, I mean, I feel like it'd be it'd be it'd look like I'm paranoid if I just try to hide it from others. Plus, who the hell is gonna go on my search history like? That's weird. The only person who ever went through my search history, or goes through it, is my dad. And, yeah. He even, like, bring up something that I one time looked at. Uh, I one time looked. And, uh, yeah, it was some guy that had a shirt stained fresh out of jail or something like that. And then for that, yeah, he saw that. He didn't really scold me, but anyways, we're getting off topic. So, then, Super Eagle wants to try the password, and I'm just standing here watching them as they helplessly try to do the password just to embarrass Dylan, or not, I mean, because Dylan really wouldn't know about it, they wouldn't just go ahead and tell them, like, who the heck would go ahead and tell them that they're on their internet history, they're on Dylan's internet history, like, who the heck is going to do that? So, like, eventually, I'm not sure how, but they crack the code. They figure out the password. So, it's like, okay, dude, we're in. So then, 
um, Jetshirt gets the phone back. He goes on Google Chrome and goes on History. So then, whenever he goes on History, it shows another password. I was kind of confused. All of us were confused at this point because how the heck can he get? Like, how the heck can you get the password for your history? Like, what? I never even heard of that. So, you know, we're attempting the password, and, no, I'm not attempting it, but I'm just, like, standing there, again, watching them attempt it, and they're failing. Then, Jetser takes the phone, tries it, like, about two more times, and then backs out, backs out, and, um, backs out of the Google Chrome, and looks around on his phone. He sees an app, a security app. And the instant we saw it, we laid our eyes on the security app, we all knew... That 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 was the key to going on his history. Like he put that there. I mean, he actually freaking made. It's pretty much like he made an app specifically for us because he knew we were gonna do this. So you know what? I am not sure who did it, but they said, or one of them said, "Hey, you can't really delete the app." And then the other guy said, yeah. So he deletes the app. They go to Google Chrome History. And bam. Um, password's gone. So they were schooling around and giggling for about like a good 5 to 10 seconds. And uh, the only thing I saw, I didn't really see anything inappropriate. I just saw the search history of Dragon Ball Super. And I was just kind of surprised he even knew about that. It's... Excuse me. So yeah, we were all giggling, and I don't know why. I know I mentioned earlier, who the hell would just go up to the person that you're randomly going on the phone on and just saying, hey, we're going through your history. But, for some reason, that's exactly what I did. I went up to Cartoony and Dylan and said, uh, by the way, they're going through your history. I pointed back at me while they're all giggling at, uh, Dylan's phone. And then he says, oh, I'm gonna them up so bad. Dylan replies, Dylan remarks, <laughs> fan fiction. <laughs> so yeah, what's end up what ends up happening is oh, okay, I thought I thought like someone was coming in, but it was just a uh, black ops during music for this. So yeah, what's that end up happening is Dude what the flip? Blah, 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 blah. Like, you know, he just starts um same stuff. I didn't even know why, but he was kind of yelling at us. He had the teacher didn't even really care. He's my favorite teacher, but he didn't really care. <laughs> so, I don't know, but he was just yelling at us. And he's, I'm never trusting you again on my phone. And then, um, Cartoony says, dude, I, I can't believe you guys, like, going through another man's stuff is kind of personal, don't you think? Like, would you want someone going through your stuff? Me suddenly has a flashback of a uh, cartoony laughing at the Pornhub and a uh, back row pound, you know, Joker pound you back row and remembers that he was giggling at that and he did nothing to stop it. Yeah, so that's kind of like a hypocrite right there. Wouldn't you think, guys? Leave a dislike if you agree. <laughs> Anyways, moving on is yeah he just yeah this cartoon he said dude that's not cool like why would you do that how can he do this how the, don't just how can you do this pretty much is what he's saying you make me sick Infantry killed. yeah but he he didn't stop he didn't stop us right but you know I was the one. That said, okay, guys, by the way, they're going through your history. I'm not sure if you want to stop it or not. I mean, no, I'm not sure if you want to. S yeah, that's what I said. I'm not sure if you want to stop it or not. And yeah, they get. And then they get mad at me. And the only thing I freaking saw was Dragon Ball Super, not any point hub. But Jet Shirt says that he found point hub and, like, really funny stuff. Well, all I saw was Dragon Ball Super. I don't know. So then. Ignoring the rest of the facts, you know. Now, Dylan keeps on talking about it the rest of the day, the rest of the week. And then, came, I think, I know, Wednesday or Thursday. 
And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say this, he said from threatening to tell the principal on us. No, the vice principal, since he, like, deals with all the problems. Apparently, <laughs> the, prin the principal doesn't... Ah, oh, so bad. Oh, okay, he's just, like, putting the principal in the dark light. You didn't even know who he is. Yeah, I assumed it's Jenner. <laughs> so... So then, I'm, I don't know why I'm gonna include this in, but... I have fourth period, obviously, my fourth period is art class. I suck at art, and I'm an art class, alright? So... Um, in art class, it's this little portable. So I'm walking down the stairway, and then I see Dylan walking too. Oh, hey, Biggerously. Oh, hey, Dylan. Uh, I'm gonna go use the restroom, okay? Hey, I'm gonna go use the restroom too. So we're going to the restroom together because we're gay. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, so yeah, we just go into the restroom together. We see three guys. Taking pictures of Star while someone's hey <laughs> yelling hey stop man that's so gay and yeah because they're taking pictures of him then they leave the classroom <laughs> no they leave the bathroom and yeah they they just leave I mean I kind of feel bad for him they all just left the restroom okay then okay well I'm gonna take a crap because I had to take a crap I don't know what to tell me to crap to take a crap so then. Dylan, all he had to do was, like, take, I'm not sure if it was crap. No, he also had to take a crap. And, uh, so, he was done a lot quicker than me. And I have this habit. I'm not sure, but if you know me in school, I have this habit of wearing my backpack all the time. I'm, like, infamous because of it. I'm not really infamous, but people will know me because I wear my backpack all the time. Apparently, I bring it to the restroom. And sometimes I'll take it with me to the stall because I'm just afraid that someone will throw something at me and it'll hit me. So that's exactly what happens. Dylan says, Hey dude, they left their pants in here. So then he grabs a um, piece of like, uh, what is it? Yeah, he, uh, not, it wasn't jeans, oh yeah, khaki pants. So he throw he heaves it over the stall door and uh, yeah, I'm shielding myself and yeah, it lands on me and then I'm like, Ugh. You know, I'm freaking taking a crap. God, dang. And then he, he like, finds, like, dude, there's paper towels that are wet. He throws them at me. And I just, like, caught one of them. That's oh, God. And then the other, he did it, like, two of them at me. And by the second time he threw the second one, I was already out of the bathroom, wiping my ass. <laughs> and, um, yeah, they landed in the toilet. And so... Yeah, I just got mad at him. I'm like, see, okay, I can report you to the vice principal for this. Like, you're, I don't know what you're doing, but obviously it's inappropriate, okay? So, so your sister, search history, but, you know, why? Okay, so, I, it ends up being a normal day. I keep talking about what right Okay, so, anyways, yeah, we kept on going on about it. Then comes Friday. So, Friday, second period again. So, he br Dylan bring it up once again, and I just took his shoulders and shook him vigorously, and then I dropped kick his ground on me. What? Yeah, my brother's in here with me. He said that he's going to play videos so he can get copyrighted. Right? And, um, he doesn't want it, his voice in my videos, so get out of here, right? No, that's not the, that's not the legendary ball of logic. Anyways... Yeah, I shake him violently up and down with his shoulders, and um, the teacher sees that, and then he calls me into the into the hallway. He says, uh, "Vigorously, why are you in here?" And I look at him, and then I reply, "Because he keeps on talking about something, and I'm just telling him to stop because he's getting annoying." So then he ends up calling um, Dylan. Jet Sir and uh, Super Eagle into the office and her was left out of it. And then pretty much we told him about the search history thing and then he said that we all owed did an apology. I mean I pretty much and yeah pretty much what happened was I was the only one giving in an apology. Jet Sir and Super Eagle were just talking the entire time and I was the only one to actually apologize. So yeah. You can still do the right thing, but hey guys, life isn't fair. That's just a life lesson I learned across life. Because, um, 
I learned that early in life. Because, like, if you care, life makes me want to kill myself. Yep. So that's the life lesson of today's video. As seen on TV. And I will see you guys later some other time.